Okay, this is Russell Dilday. I train cow horses and ranch horses, have ranched my whole life. And I uh, want to demonstrate the side pass and the benefits of the side pass on this mare. Um, I feel like the side pass is as important as the right and the left and the back up. The basic principles of horse training. This mare is a little wound up and um, I'm looking for uh, exercise to get her listening to me without having to get in a fight with her. And I use the fence because that allows me to concentrate on getting her to move right and left off of my spur without me having to hold her the whole time and make her stay off the bridle. So as you can see, she's a little wound up. That doesn't bother me. I just keep side passing. I keep asking her for a little turnaround and then I'll put her back on the fence, let the fence keep her short and let me keep pushing her right or left with my feet. I don't want to kick on her hard, I don't want to pull on her hard, I just want to keep making this a maneuver that I'm showing to her that she is trying to accomplish. When I feel like she's moving right or left fairly well off of my foot, I might attempt a small turnaround. And the reason I'm looking for that turnaround is to see if she'll stay moving off of my foot without pulling on my hands very hard. If she goes to pulling on my hands in the turnaround, of course, I come right back to the fence, let the fence shorten her, and push her with my foot. If she gets silly, raises up, looking over the fence at something, or just wanting to charge into it, I, I do not make a big deal out of it. Just keep showing her that I wanted to get off of my feet and not run into the fence. Eventually, this will turn into... A situation where when you ask for a turnaround, she will step into it off of your foot and you won't have to hold her with your hands to get it anymore. Already in the video, you can see that she's starting to respect my hands more in the turnaround. If she looks up and gets silly, no big deal. Just keep asking her to work. You can have a horse that is very fresh and not wanting to listen. You can go do this exercise. It will work their body and slow their mind down without having to grind them into the ground. That felt pretty good, so I got two, maybe three turnarounds, and then back to the fence again. This is a little later in the exercise, and you'll see, every once in a while I have to get her off, but you'll see her start relaxing off of the bridle more and more and start to give me that nice turnaround that I want where the whole horse's body is staying off of my leg. I would like to see them plant their outside hind foot and move around it by drawing their inside hind foot for their turnaround, which is what I want for a turn and it's also what I want on a cow. And that's uh, basically just respecting your leg and not pushing on your hands. When they quit pushing on your hands, everything gets simple.